Okay, doing this. Holy, oh, it's working. This is so cool. So remotely, uh, I was VNC'd into this and I've been fighting with the code for so long. I got it into a state where I was reporting operator error from the disky and it is blinking. This is running the Colossus code from the command module, the real code that ran on Apollo. This project and many others on the channel are made possible in part by PCBWay.com. They're where I have all my boards manufactured. They do a great job. They offer 3D printing services, machining services, assembly services, and much more. This is so cool. This is actually running Apollo code. And uh, a display not working. I'm going to have to sort that out. But uh, first thing it spoke to me, operator error. <laughs> How suitable. Hey, we've got a problem here. Well, another day in. I have several days into this now getting the software to work. Recap is I have an Arduino Nano running these two and a Pro Micro running this, and they talk to the Raspberry Pi running Virtual AGC. I've got Virtual AGC running, but I can't get anything talking. Um, I can't get the Python script to run I, it's just kicking my butt. The bash script is kicking my butt too. So I actually have Ron Berkey, the writer of Virtual AGC, the, the software that runs the Apollo code helping me out now. And I have high hopes. Um, I think we can get this going. It's, uh, it's just a few software errors and it's all in a thread so you can follow this later. And I've updated my GitHub and it's live and we're moving. So I'm going to keep going here what did you do nothing i stirred the tanks whoa so we're here we've got operator error flashing on this one we have now the display here and we have lamps updated the script is running we're talking to the nano but i don't have anything on my screen and I don't have any response on the keyboard to talk back to it and influence this key release. Maybe something should do something and we should see interaction here and we don't. So I suspect since we tested this on the laptop, I'm guessing right away I bet you that we've got a USB cable here that uh, is dodgy. Ages ago, I got one of these from Tindy, I believe, that is it me or just USB? And let's use it. Well, I'm so happy this thing is working. Even a junk USB cable can't get me down. Sure enough, uh, no smarts, just basic power and ground working. So no data. That's why it couldn't talk. I actually found several junk cables, but uh, here we go. That should be a little bit better. <laughs> that, uh, oh, nothing's gonna get me down now. This thing is running. It's running Apollo code. All right, let's look at this thing from a, uh, from a uh, standpoint of status. Uh, what have we got on the spacecraft that's good? It works, it works, it works, it works. It, when I press a button, it changes behavior and we made operator error go away but I have no idea what I'm pressing. So uh, I don't know the nouns and verbs yet. I think, I think uh, verb 35, I can't even remember. One of them is a bulb test. I gotta look it up, but, oh, we crashed it. Exited, gonna have to figure this out. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't think we're supposed to be able to close program. Okay, on to the display. Uh, the only thing I can think of with the display is perhaps I've got RX and TX flipped uh, on the display itself. It's quite possible. They're wired to the wrong terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap them in the code. Is, uh, I don't want to resolder. Well, that didn't work. That just caused us to refuse connection internally when we run the disky. So... Putting it back, and I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. 
Houston, we have a problem. Well, my best guess is now that I hosed the Arduino Nano um, when I swapped those. I did verify the wiring was swapped, though. and But now I can't get the serial to connect with the Nano on the Pi, so I don't get it. I've swapped everything back and dinked around for an hour now and no change, so... Ah, oh, this is the frustrating part when things don't make sense. It, uh, yeah, devolved. Well, that wasn't it, but it is making a good case for why I put the Arduinos into female headers as a socket. That way you can easily do things like this. So I'm rebuilding the virtual AGC software now. I'm wondering whether it got derped out somehow uh, when I was messing around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's software now. It can't connect on the local host IP. So, yeah, I'm not a Linux expert, so I don't know what would cause it to get hung up. I changed the ports and no no dice. So we're getting there, but uh, it's kicking and screaming. There's another master alarm, Houston. I'm checking the quad. Christ, there was no repress valve. Maybe it's in quad We've got a computer restart. Well, after rebuilding the software, we are alive. So the wires were swapped. I did it in the hardware to fix it and swapped back and my Nano was just fine. Everything's fine. It was the software that couldn't connect to localhost for whatever reason. And I've got this latency problem that the original designer had. And I think I can speed that up by speeding up the serial ports at some point, but it's, it's alive. Um, can we do verb 35? That should be a lamp test and I don't think it did. Yeah, I'm getting a six. Gotta play around, but we are alive. Sort of, things are doing, sort of. <laughs> There's a major latency problem, but we're alive. Trigger the RCS. We've got a pin fire, doesn't make any sense. We've got multiple caution and warning, Houston. Well, that's not good. Uh, looks like it's a keyboard wiring issue. If I go 99, I get 55. I also have others that aren't seemingly recognized or I'm doing something wrong, but 55, the enter now changed it to verb 21. And now it's incrementing. So that must, oh geez. Is, would that be a plus, the plus from over here? Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> that means this is completely, oh, maybe not. There's negative there now. If we go key release, key release works. So I, I, I know these ones were mapped right, but I thought these were gonna be fine. This could be a combination of operator error too, as I have no idea how to operate the disk key, so I better start reading. Okay, I was wrong about the latency. There's actually none. It's just the keys aren't working, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I figured out verb zero. Zero is a two, and I can clean, clean the verb out, and three is a six and nines are fives. So those are the only three keys working. So zero, three, and nine. So that's random, eh? The rest are acknowledged, but I don't know. I think my num lock isn't working correctly and but we should only have less than this. I don't know. Anyway, carry on. Um, Fly and I recommend we uh, shut down the reactant valves of the fuel cells. Okay, I think I might have it. I'm uploading the keyboard emulation Arduino again. Because the original author had these ASCII codes in here that make no sense to me. So I swapped them out for just standard text. Actually, I see I screwed one up. Yeah, we'll fix that. And yeah, just standard text numbers and symbols. I don't understand why it would need these weird ASCII codes. That might be what's going on. Let's see what this does. 
Okay, this is as raw as it gets. So I changed those ASCII codes to just standard numeric and check this out. 4-4, four, four. we got 4-4, four, four. eight, 8 So I had my hardware right this whole time, which is totally awesome. And yeah, I can't explain why the original author did that. So zero, 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 zero. Awesome. Um, we're good. We're, we're freaking good. Hello, Houston. This is Odyssey. It's good to see you again. This thing is working. I just need to do the code now. Uh, actually, like, understand how to use an Apollo <laughs> space capsule. <laughs> this is crazy. So, yeah. There we go with noun. So if we go verb 4-4, four, four, and can we do noun right after? Sure we can, 66. And then if we hit enter or proceed, it's going to get pissy and do other things. So this is the Colossus program, the command module software running right now, and I don't know anything about it, but I made it work. Uh, this is done. It, it's, it, it works. This is crazy. Uh, I just have to put things back together because I've ripped it apart so many times, but verb 77, boom. Oh, it's a little bit, you just got to give it like one second between key presses, like a half a second longer than getting Rammy with it. So I'll see if I can up the serial speed. Here we go. Uh, there it is running. And there it is on the same screen. I'm just VNC'd into it over my LAN. So yeah, pretty cool.